Yeah, yeah, so you have no obstruction in case of Very, very, and, and the, the, the figures. So John Hall was the guy who first came up. This is, um, I bought this um, eight years ago, used, from a gentleman who was on his fourth wife, so he needed cash. <laughs> 28 inch, it's F3.66. Um, it is really a galaxy hunter. So what you do with this is you can look at galaxies, uh, clusters, um, you can see most all of the galaxies you want to see. But this is a uh, this was the telescope I had my biggest telescope before I bought yeah. the twenty eight. It's and a beauty, it, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. It is really optically really great. But this I call Mark's scope hey. because it sits in my uh, garage for years. You know, however long between WSPs that Mark comes. Uh, but it is a, a fantastic instrument. Again. So you can use it for a lot of galaxies because the limiting magnitude I think I've seen on this is about 15.5. So what did we see last night? Was it the Leo galaxy cluster? Not the Leo triplet, but the No, actual... we saw Abel 1367 with both of these instruments. What we've been doing lately, Mark has been sketching 1367 with this, and I've been going through 1367 visually, trying to figure out where all these, yeah. these objects are. And we synchronized last night, it was pretty good. We're gonna try to take a photograph which is a segue for this telescope so this is a um, this is another grab-and-go setup Jim yeah this is a grab-and-go um, these again are so it's a uh, tech tech 180 this is a tech 180 FL so it's Goodness a fluorite me. lens tech with air uh, oil space triplet has no internal air in the lens reduces reflections it is staggeringly dark around the stars when you look at in a dark sky site Well, it's a, this is a basic Newtonian. It's a 12 and a half inch uh, mirror, uh, F8 focal ratio. I, uh, I'm a lunar planetary observer. So um, it's all about these high contrast views, high resolution right. views. So I can remember that view you showed me a while ago with Jupiter that looked like a Voyager photograph through yes. there. So you have that well baffled scope, there's no stray yes. light, the diffraction, the yes. minimum. And if you get good air, good sky, and the objects are pretty high, then you can get pretty spectacular views out of the telescope. Uh, this is a uh, software bisque mx plus mount and a apm 152 uh, apochromatic refractor so this is your beginner starter setup yeah, is it absolutely just this year <laughs> um, so where did you get the telescope tom uh well in 2016 i, I attended the winter star party uh, here in uh, scout key florida in the florida keys and uh, this was second prize the apm 152. So, See, I can understand why you're quite pleased then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's fitting to bring it back for uh, an imaging uh, session here in the Keys. Oh, fantastic. So, so you're so, pleased with it then? It's a pretty good setup. I'm very pleased with it, yes. And what have you managed to image so far this week then? I've imaged the Rosette Nebula, the uh, Flame and Horsehead Nebula region around the star Altanac and M101. And also M42 last oh, night nice. with the Running Man. Oh, fantastic! With the classic shot, right? Good stuff. So.